People ask me all the time what I mix Total ISO with. Honestly, I mix it with everything. Water, egg whites, Jay? Capone, Daisy. Jay, seriously? Don't. Angie is. Thank you. Angie's making sure the thumbnail's on point. Yeah. I'm becoming an expert thumbnail designer. You know that um, the lights are still on. Right? I, I can't believe I don't. I have own amplifier and I don't have any. Does that make any sense? No. You were just at the office yesterday. Yeah, but you took it all. No, there was a whole bunch. Here. That's right. Show the camera what you're doing. <laughs> so this is the thumbnail we just shot. <laughs> there you go. Cool. I like it. In the garage series. That's right. It is how hot today in Las Vegas? 100. We have a special delivery here, my friend. Uh-oh. What do you think this is? Uh, UV light for your tanning booth. <laughs> Oh, so let's see. This says to J Cover Psycho Fitness. Oh boy. What is this? It's a psycho pad. So you can use different angles, like the one, yeah. Like at the gym or in between two benches or there you go. Wow. Nice, huh? So what does that mean? I have no excuses now? That's right. Am I automatically, am I a full-time Gold's Gym Venice? That's right. Exactly. Disciple if I use the psycho pad? <laughs> well, he's wow, Chris Psycho Fitness. Yeah, man. They should tag him. I will. So does he sell these? Yeah, he sells those. So I think his Instagram is Psycho Fitness Twenty One. That's Psycho Fitness Twenty One. You can get those. Uh, they all different colors. I know he makes them in like blue, red, oh, yeah? black. Yeah, he'll customize it for you. Wow. Yeah. Well, Pretty Chris, cool. we love you, man. I know. Thank you. I'm gonna have to put that on Instagram too, huh? Yeah, that'd be good. All right. So today's Arm Day. It's my least favorite day of the day. I know. Let me start with some ropes. Actually, we're going to start with, what do we call these? Uh, tricep extension? Or yeah, tricep? we're going to start with uh, yeah. We're going to start with, uh, like a press down. A press down, there you go. Tricep push down. With a band. Does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah. I want you to bring that little guy home, too. Okay. I'll give that to Kim, see what she mm -hmm. says. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wine holder. I know. Is it real wine? Hmm. I think it's empty in it, but... Oh. I shall be bummed. <laughs> Alright, so in about... In about 15 minutes, this is going to kick my ass. Alright. 
right. So, rope press downs. We got so many sneakers. Okay. So we're gonna do a few sets of these to kind of warm up a little bit. This is kind of just to warm the elbows up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so second exercise. You can do your favorite exercise for triceps. Tell me what it is. Uh, lying, lying tricep extensions? Yes, sir. Let me get some collars. Yep. Your favorite exercise. You told me today, Dave. You said to me, I asked you what your least favorite body part to train was. Yeah. What'd you tell me? I said legs and oh, triceps. Yeah. So tell me why triceps. It's a weak body part, so. Actually, out of the two body parts, the arm body, you know, arms or biceps, triceps. Yeah. I like doing triceps more. Yeah, you feel more. I you feel like better pump. I feel better pumped in my biceps. All right, so I'm gonna do 12 reps with line extensions. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, three sets of these. So next exercise, next exercise is going to be the dumbbell kickback. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do two arms at a time. So I'm going to do a kickback like this, okay? So a couple of variations on the uh, kickbacks. Now, when you guys are trying to develop a really good horseshoe, like I know there's like a lot of power movements. Like, you know, we did the overhead and, uh, you know, we did, uh, you know, you do like a dip or close grip bench. 
But I think, you know, you really want to develop the horseshoe, you've got to get good contraction. And if you notice, um, the last exercise we're going to do is the dip. And, you know, with the dip, the locking out is what people think is the most uh, beneficial. But you're going to see how I do these. And it's not going to look like I actually move that much. But I'm feeling the muscle work. And sometimes visually, it's hard for some of us pros to uh, really put out there in, on our videos. Like, unless you're actually in the movement, it looks like it's not working as much. And the most common I get on a lot of my stuff is like my range of motion short. And that's on purpose because I'm just trying to st contain the muscle and only do smaller contractions and really not take the tension off and drag the other body parts in. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the muscle under tension, but don't let it get past a certain contraction and, and relax a little bit. So I'm just gonna use my body weight as it dips. Okay, we're not trying to break any records today. And I do have a dip bar in my house, so unfortunately some of you guys don't have this. They can use the bench though. Yeah, they can yeah. use the bench. But for some reason, what I always did with my dips, guys, like most people face the dip machine. I do that when I do my uh, chest. But when I do um, triceps focusing on the horseshoe, I actually keep my feet out in, in front of me. You're going to watch the legs are going to sit like this. And I'm going to do dips that way. Okay. So you're going to notice instead of turning my legs back and leaning in, I'm actually going to stand, sit back. Okay. It's a lot of contraction with the triceps. Although the motion looks short, I did 12 reps. So I'm going to do three sets there. Uh, really get that, you know, get that positioning and really try to lock that tricep out. So we're going to focus on, so we got one, uh, I did the, this is the fourth one, right? Yeah. yeah. The kickbacks and then yep. the dip. And then we're going to roll into some biceps. Okay. Awesome. So like I said, it's not a ton of time. I do three or four sets per, I did a couple warm ups. Uh, with this, I mean, that was really kind of a warm up the whole thing because it's not a lot of weight. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna roll into biceps, which is my least favorite, okay? So what we're gonna do with biceps, guys, I'm gonna do a warm up set, uh, just to get the blood in there. I'm gonna use the 20s and then I'll go into, you know, I'll do one set of 20s and then uh, I'm gonna roll into the 40s. So I'm gonna do two arms at a time. The blood's already in there anyway. Anytime you do buys and tries. You said you switched your training over the buys and tries. How do you yeah, like it? I love it. It's always good. Yeah. So remember my rest period between sets, guys, 45 to 60 seconds. So I'm a little winded, so I apologize. Plus it's hot. Yeah. This is like the this is like the Hollywood, the Hollywood garage workout today. <laughs> Bieber. I'm the Justin Bieber of the neighborhood. When I used to have all the cars out here, we ripped the quads up and down the street. Okay. All right, now the real sets, boys and girls. I know we got some women watching this. Yep. Best exercise for biceps, I think. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. 
How many is that? 13. Okay. All right, another exercise. Do our cambered bar curl. Pretty simple. Now sometimes I alternate between straight bar and camber bar. I'm actually gonna do next exercise. What I'm gonna do is uh, these straight bars, you know, these, this bar is 45 pounds. You know, the reason I have this, these weights, you wanna laugh, is I actually got these weights uh, because I wanted to lunge in the street. <laughs> That's why I have these plates when I was training. I don't know if you remember, but I had a, a hamstring curl in my house. Do you remember? No. I brought it to Lake Mead Gold. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And it just stayed there? Yeah. Well, wow. It's not there anymore, but... So I would have had a hamstring curl right now. Damn. But I gave it away. Well, that stinks. What a nice guy, huh? Yeah, you could have used this. <laughs> okay. Don't mind my form, people, okay? <laughs> people like the garage series they love it you know why you know why tell me why see how smart you are because they can relate that's what they have that's i mean it. that's it bro mm. i'm glad the pro sent in there yeah yeah too. Right, so this is what i'm gonna do what exercise do you think i'm gonna do right now a reverse with this? Jeez. I was going to ask you if you're going to do the reverse on the camber. That's going to be hard to do it on a straight bar, no? Forearms? Yeah, so I'm going to do reverse curls. Okay. And I got the fat grip to fatten up the bar a little bit, okay? That's even harder. Is it harder to hold it? Oh, hell yeah. On the reverse, it's got to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that alone... It'd be hard without it, <laughs> I would think. I mean, a lot of bars complement... There's a lot of thicker bars now. Fuck, that was heavy. Um, <laughs> but the, definitely the fat grips make a difference. What I like about the fat grips, too, is... Is the way that rubber is, it's... It's not a smooth leather. I mean, a rubber, so it, it grips. doesn't see grips. It grips. That's what's nice about it. So you can use it like back training, or even, you know what I really like it for? Benching, believe it or not. Really? It feels like you're you're pressing a wide, sometimes the bars are too skinny, they hurt your elbows, your joints, you know? Mm, I've never tried that. That's a good point. Dude, that's why all the power lifters have thick bars. Yeah. Every one of them. I like it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what I've been doing. I'm at home, actually. I do want to just leave this on. Probably easier to take these weights off. 
So any some of you guys don't have the don't have the dumbbells. So I use it to pump up backstage. Yeah. You get weights at the Olympia backstage? You have weights, right? Yeah, very little though. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do preacher curl. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna do the preacher guys, okay? Right, so that's the preacher. Preacher curl. So since you guys like to give me shit <laughs> about my forearms not being as big as they used to be. I'm do a few sets of forearms here. Nice. All right, so another another forearm movement, guys. Okay, something I used to do actually all the time. Okay. So, in the garage series, this is our last um, our last shoot of the week for yep. the garage, right? That's it. You've done almost everything. Except for legs. Except for legs. I think next week is legs. Yeah. I might have to bring a couple pieces for legs. Well, you had some. Good ideas this morning when you talked yeah. about it, you know? I mean, for me, I don't have to work my legs that hard, so I can get away with squats and lunges. And, That's right. You know, leg curls with a dumbbell. That's, That's all right. I've really been doing. Yeah. My legs haven't shrunk that much. I no. do a lot of step mill, though. I think the step mill definitely builds the legs. Yeah? Yeah. All that squeezing. Did you ever do step mill when you were training for a show? No, because you told me at the time that it would make my legs smaller. Yeah. You know, so I didn't. You but definitely I'm... bring your glutes in better condition. Yeah, for sure. So when you do your next show, are you going to maybe do it? If, if you think I should, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze do you like glutes. doing uh, cardio or you hate it? Uh, I don't hate it, actually. But I do it after training. I don't do it first thing in the morning. Have you ever done faster cardio ever? I have. What do you think about it? I hate it. 
No, I know. Everyone hates cardio. So, no, I don't hate cardio. It depends what time. I'm just so hungry in the morning that I can't wait to eat. You know, most of the time I get up, I got to eat like in the first 30 minutes. Normally. My metabolism is racing in the morning. But I'm sure it's habit. So if I got into the habit of doing it, it'd be fine. You can get used to anything, right? Okay. Let's, uh, let's wrap this shit up. Hey, get phone. What's up, baby? <laughs> okay. So, Dave. Yeah. Another, another, uh, another segment. We've been working a lot in the past two weeks, dude. It's good. I hope. Give, give the fans what they want. Right? I hope people are happy. Yeah, I was gonna say. Sometimes it's nice to sit in this side of my office and. I was here this morning checking your email. It was so quiet. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I can hear what's going on also. So if you come out of the, the back. Now I'm all sweaty. He wants to lick me. Hey. Yeah. So Capone had an episode last night. I know. I'm glad he's okay. He's, uh, he, had, he gets a little hyper, hypoglycemic. So. He's oh, poor little guy. He seems okay today. He's right? good today. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's that's it for the arm series. Um, wanted to do uh, something to keep sharing with you guys. And. Give you guys a little insight on what's happening here at the Cutler Residence. For some of you guys that haven't seen my office yet, you watch this video for the first time, maybe showcase a couple of the awards. This poster was in Times Square. Oh, yeah, I remember It was that. on every bus in New York billboard, City. Billboard, a billboard, yeah. yeah. So, um, all of the awards, guys. This is my ring light that makes me look so great. <laughs> So if you notice, um, all the silvers are here, minus the, the one up top, which was the last year. That, but every medallion, so this is 2001, 2003, 2004, 2005, and 2008. All my second place finishes. Um, and then all your golds. Or first, and then that was the last year, 2011. Yeah. That's awesome. And then in thir 13, I never got an award. I never got a... Oh, that's right. never got a medal. That's, right. that's the only year besides 99, 2000, that I didn't get an award. I finished sixth. And yeah. Obviously... I finished... So in the Olympia lineup, besides first and second, I finished 14th, 8th. And six. Six, yeah. Not yeah. Bad. It's a good career. Second to last in the first. And then use the arm trophies. Yeah, I like those. Classic. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Heavy. Yeah, Arnold up there. Some of these, I don't know why I ended up hanging some, some I didn't. I think my girl just was um, kind of making them out. My least favorite cover of all time. Oh, uh, yeah. I look like a fat guy. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> why would they pick that picture? Yeah, my guff thought it was great. Really? Here's our YouTube. 100,000 subscribers. Dude. Remember, that was a big deal. You wrote in for that. I know. Yeah, because you were already qualified and you never got it, so I asked for it. Yeah. Now we're getting close to 400,000. It's awesome. So, all the, uh, all the Sandows, and then this is the NOC ring, which is now the New York Pro. Yeah, it's cool. So, a couple, couple of memorabilia things. Yeah, it's awesome. So, uh, make sure you guys subscribe to like the, like the video, comment below. Uh, we have legs next week. Let us know what else you want to see, and we will bring in a guest or two. Uh, that'd be great. Right. So always appreciate you guys following along. JTV, Big Dave Borlay is heading back to Cali. Yep. And uh, hopefully he'll be at the Mecca soon. I know. It'd be great, right? Bottoms right. up. Thanks, Jim.